Hi, I'm Luciano, and welcome to the adventures of Lollipop Man. In today's video, we're going to look at an add-on done by Bjorn Leonard from Patas Animation Studio. Uh, and it's a very cool add-on that on the one side gathers some tools that you normally have to find scattered in the interface. And on the other side, that's a proper uh, selection sets add-on. Uh, it's going to be a really short video. I hope I don't have to edit it at all, but we'll see. And... Uh, <laughs> Other than that, just remember to like and subscribe and let's get right on it. This episode is sponsored by me. Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. So I've already installed the add-on. Go check out uh, here uh, in, in one of the, my videos on how installing an add-on. And the link is going to be in the description below. But once you got it installed, you get these two panels under Patas. Obviously, these panels one of them appears in every time, like in, in whatever mode you are in, but the, the selection sets one appears only when you're in post mode. Um, and so now you can start using it. Now let's uh, do a quick rundown through the rest of the tools and then we'll get to the selection sets add-on. So mainly you have uh, a set of copy paste uh, world coordinates, um, which is really good. Uh, I still use my old one because it still has some other features that I prefer, but this one is, it's really nice. Um, then I have, do you have the settings, which is basically so you can get rid of how you, you see how you how I have like these two little panels, like I have a timeline hidden like under um, a dope sheet. Well, basically now you don't need that anymore. You just can, can keep one panel there if I actually manage to do this. There we go. Um, you can just keep your regular dope sheet uh, slash graph editor. Uh, I switch it with control tab, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, and then, then you have all of the options that you'd actually need from the timeline here in this little panel, which you can also like collapse or hide and bring back with just N, um, which is much easier than just like dragging up and down and resizing your windows all the time. So. Just like a quick a quick overview of this, you have the keying options, auto key, obviously, uh, luckily only insert available is on by default. So if I move this around, there's no keyframes. If I turn it on now, now it makes keyframes just because there it was supposed to not make keyframes when you don't um, uh, when you don't have already a key set uh, by default. Then you got your keying sets here, very handy. The default keyframe creation uh the, the shape of the keyframe or the, the handles basically the behavior of the handles um the coloring mainly um behavior of all keying your options for playback which is really important and the audio options as well which is really important to have handy uh your start and end frame which obviously are great to have here and then optimization the the simplify options right very easily you can turn this down to zero and turn it on and off super handy so you don't have to have all those menus around you can actually probably like get rid of most of this stuff and just keep like a graph editor and a 3d view and you should be set right now now the exciting part uh this is great and i love that this is all here because i use this all the time is the selection sets and we got a selection sets panel kind of like what you would expect um, I already have a few ideas that would probably make it slightly better, but nothing major. So basically, what is a selection sets? You create selection uh, sets of selection. You press new. Uh, you name it and call it arm. Uh, this is left. Done. There you go, your arm left. Now you can select the other one and create a new one. And call it arm right. right. And I can create, let's say, one for the body very quickly. Right, uh, let's add that one. Let's add that one. Uh, actually, no, let's just keep that one out and say torso or spine. More accurate, spine. Uh, let's say one for the head controls or the face controls. Uh, face controls, face, or just let's just rename it. We can just go and uh, rename it. Add. There you go. 
and then let's say instead of like having one by one leg we just do legs boom so the cool thing about this is like if you click one of them you quickly get it so you don't have to go select it and then just go click the select button or something like that this is already pretty neat the second thing about this is that if you uh, shift click any button then it will just add to that selection right and if you want to remove you just control click simple as that click 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 and click 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 boom now you see some copy paste buttons here this is great because now that you've created your selection set you're probably working in a scene you're gonna send you're gonna go to your next shot you go let's open a clean rig again right i'm gonna go to patas add-on and then just select uh, we're in post mode already so i just paste and there we go our selection sets are there things that would make this better i think these buttons because you don't use them as often probably hidden down like a little uh what's it called uh like a drop down or something like that and and then when you have um the bones that that are part of one one button maybe have a signature that this selection should be selected that's it i mean that's all you need and uh, maybe coloring but i don't think it's very important uh, not in this case at least and there you go and you can make it as small as you want and keep it right there or just like make it freaking big and fat and then just like call them when you want so there you go this is add-on is perfect you're gonna see that patas animation is creating and maintaining it um it's been in lots of development and it's been used uh in a production in the production of my short film called freelance film it's a, the title of the film is freelance but uh hashtag freelance film on instagram um and you're gonna find some stuff there's not much there yet we've uh, done some character designs and yeah uh yeah, remember to like and subscribe and see me next time.